Hello again and welcome to the Shooting and Outdoors channel, proudly sponsored by FMJ Dunchurch. The saying goes, 2-2 two -two for meat, 177 for paper. Is there any truth behind this? Today's experiment, we'll be looking at knockdown and penetration. So, today's experiment is an easy one and kills two birds with one shot. We'll be putting this wobbly rabbit out at 20 yard intervals with a 1 inch deep plasticine impact patch fixed to its heed. Similar to what we use in the deformation test in the pellet reviews. This will catch and retain the pellet for us to assess the overall penetration at each distance. We appreciate that carbon plasticine is hardly bone and meat and you'd be right it's not. But the data is relative to whatever you'll shoot. Material variables may change. However, we would expect to see similar results. We also know the 2.2 has a bit more length than the 177, so from the rear it may not bury as deep, but the length may make up the rest. To counter this, we'll measure the depth to the tail and add in the pellet lengths post impact. We did plan on arrow dyeing the pellets and recovering them to prove this. Cutting a long story short, we lost all our data. To measure knockdown, we're using a grid as a backdrop for the wobbly rabbit made of three quarter inch squares allowing us to compare the two calibers at each range with some degree of accuracy. We'll slow the camera shot to collect the knockdown data, which will be the top row of the grid, as we go working from 20 yards out to 60 yards. So let's bash that bunny. Oh, she'd be better. We have a winner. We review the footage and record the knockdown data for more in-depth analysis later and begin to analyze the penetration results. Overall then, we see clearly 177 penetrates around 10 to 20% better than 22 at all ranges. It seems 22 unloads all its energy on the card. The damage caused by each caliber will also be assessed, with the pellet that scores the most damage at that range gaining a 1 and the other caliber will get scored a 0. So at 20 yards, the 177 cavity diameter is half the size of the 22 cavity. What is also pretty cool is the shape of the 2.2's damage. The rifling marks on the pellet rip at the material as it screws in. Depth with the deformed pellet length added in is pretty even, so it's down to damage to determine the winner at this range. Therefore, 20 yards goes to 2.2. At 40 yards, the 177 is forward facing with maximum effect from the rifling marks. The 2-2 has struggled to stay straight and tumbled into the material after impact, reducing penetration depth. Ultimately, handing penetration to 177. The damage is also not as severe as the 177. So, the 40 yard range, that goes to the 177. At 60 yards, 177 maintains direction and causes a respectable amount of damage. The 2-2 gets lodged in the card having spent all its energy trying to get its fat ass into the meat. The bit that does get in looks to merely bruise the material, not giving us belief that it was caused sufficient trauma. So, 60 yard, once again, it goes to 177. 
Once more, I'm armed with another rampant nerd on, and I matrix up the data for easier comparison against each factor. The knockdown data shows that the 2 2 may hit hardest, but the results confirm that penetration is questionable from around 40 yards. On the other hand, the 177 penetrates much cleaner into the impact patch, but doesn't hit so hard. What we do see, and urge you to watch the footage again, is the resonance on the steel wabbit when the 177 hits material. There's none from the 2-2. We're not sure what this means right now, and we'll figure out the phenomenon and its effect in another series. The conclusion then is that knockdown and close range damage is the 2-2's key strength, but 177 has the upper hand in long range penetration and damage, and seemingly sends shockwaves through its target rather than dropping on its backside. Okay, so we're not going to work this one out today, which is why we're going to head back to the garage and work out which is the King Calibre from there. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and turn notifications on, and follow us on Instagram. See you next time. Goodbye.